is Roland Messier, and I'm the former Wild House Pastry Chef. After 26 years, the longest running chef the Wild House ever had. I'm Kara Fay, a STEM resource teacher at Fort Belvoir Elementary School. We're doing what we have done the last four years. Uh, we do a replica out of gingerbread and chocolate of the home of uh, our first president, George Washington. We don't do only the home, but we also do the landscape, the animals, the whatever was around the house at that time. We're going to have the um, school involved, school children involved, to do seven or eight of their own creation. Uh, they're trying to compete with me, that's all what there is to it. We have each class of fourth grade students worked on designing and creating one gingerbread house. So using the Mount Vernon houses and buildings, we were inspired. We have a greenhouse, a grist mill, we have the slave quarters, a wash house, and a kitchen. We even have a farm or the stables where the animals would be. And this is wonderful to see that uh, they are uh, interested, number one, to do. And a lot of that has to do not only to do something with sweet, but also construction-wise. You know, they're very much interested to find out what support the house and the wall and, and the logistic behind it and so on. When Mount Vernon contacted me about creating gingerbread houses, I thought that it tied into STEM perfectly because for engineering we can build and design and solve problems to create gingerbread houses. We also had a chef, Chef Kathleen, who works at the workhouse at Lorton. She came and talked about how she uses math in cooking and being a chef. And she also volunteered her time and came in. So when the students were building and decorating their houses, they also had that background of the chef to use the materials the way that they could and to really learn a lot, not only about science and history and architecture and engineering, but also about baking and, and cooking. And so this is great to see that uh, happening. And after all, we need somebody to take over for after I retired from that job.